Hey guys, so my name is Larissa, and this will be my first video ever, and this is my Doc Martens collection video. So I'm going to start off with my very favorite pair and my newest pair of Doc Martens, which are the Doc Martens Jordan. I hope I'm pronouncing that correctly. G-O-G-E-O-R-D-I-N. But my favorite thing about these is the safety pin buckle, which straps around the ankle once you've laced them up. So they're an eight hole pointed lace up Doc Martens with beautiful added leather stitching on the toe. I saw these on Instagram a couple months ago before I went even went to Chicago where they had a Doc Martens store just a little bit away from where we were staying. So my grandma was very interested in my Doc Martens that I had worn on the trip to actually these slip-on Biancas. These are uh, my uh, most worn pair of Doc Martens. I actually wore these pretty much every day to school from October to May of last year. Uh, these are super comfortable. I really love these. They're very easy to put on. Um, the reason I got these ones instead of the classic Chelsea boot is because of this angular cut with the elastic. I don't so much like the rounded cut that you see very pop it's very popular right now. Um, again, pointed toe. These are very loved. I have gone over these so many times with shoe polish just to save them. There are stains from my ceramics class on the elastic that I can't even get out anymore, fortunately. These are my probably my, one of my favorite pairs that I've worn for the most. And the next pair, I have the classic 1460 eight eyelet hole rounded toe, first rounded toe Doc Martens. Uh, I bought these off of, um, I think Depop from a really nice seller. She had just worn these out from her use and she had a couple of other pairs that she was going to wear, continue wearing. So. She had listed these and I saw them. They were only around $50, so I thought that was a really good price for used docks. And I had been going to Goodwill and Salvation Army for weeks and weeks and hadn't found a single pair of Doc Martens. So I needed to buy some. I needed to go on to Depop and find, see what I could find. And I'm really glad that I found these. I didn't have a classic pair of just the um, 1460s at all, so I thought this would be really great to add to my collection. Uh, my actual first ever pair of Doc Martens are extremely impractical and the reason why I haven't really worn them so much. So there are the Persephone boot. Um, these only have six, six eyelet holes but it has this incredible probably three inch heel on them. They are slightly platformed but I have a really hard time walking in these so these are usually for pictures. <laughs> I usually wear these for pictures and photo shoots, that sort of thing, where you don't have to do a ton of walking in them. But these are really great. I think these are really beautiful on the foot. Not the best to walk in, but the silhouette of them is really, really nice to wear. And then finally, my last pair of Doc Martens aren't actually Doc Martens boots. They are a pair of Doc Martens sandals. I really like these a lot. I wear them a lot um, from the end of the year going into summer, walking on campus with these. These are super comfortable. I wore these in Chicago as well. Um, they're waterproof, so I don't think it's actual leather. I think it's a type of fake leather, vegan leather that is used on the straps, but they're really comfortable, very waterproof. They remind me a lot of Tevos. I have a pair of platform purple velvet Tevas that these actually remi remind me a lot of. The fit is very similar, the feel of what wearing them is very similar, but these are super great for summer and for if you're going to be waving around in creeks or beaches or any of that sort of thing. So I'll be in Hawaii in a few weeks, so I'll be taking these with me along with my local flip-flop sandals. Thank you for watching this video. This is probably going to be my first video I've ever put out, which is Kinda wild. Kinda wild. Feels weird, but thank you for watching.